Meanwhile, other people, including Bill Gates and some of the top AI executives in the world, have issued a public warning saying mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority. Today, there's an international conference called by the British Prime Minister to discuss exactly that. It's got people like uh, OpenAI's Sam Altman, Google DeepMind's Dennis uh, Hassabis, the US Vice President, Elon Musk and all that, who's saying, well, look, AI could be an existential danger and a threat to humanity. Do you agree? Look, it's ab absolutely reasonable to suspect that AI could have the most malicious of intent if it's, if it's not built properly. But I'd give you the example of nuclear warheads. It, does, the, does the United States still have nuclear warheads? Yes, because they can only control the free world, the, the allies. They can't control what other nations like North Korea or Iran may or may not have. So you've got to keep that in your arsenal. No government... In, in the world is going to create a law that is global. And so even if the United States, Australia, the UK and a bunch of 50 other countries all say we need this to happen with AI, that doesn't change what happens in the other hundreds of countries. So unfortunately, we need to be aware of AI and we're better off building AI defences to ensure that we can see it and detect it and hopefully prevent any misuse of AI. Well, I hope that is possible, Trevor, because I'm seeing weird things, including footage of me interviewing Elon Musk, who I've never met, uh, with AI dubbing my voice in my timbre. You can tell it's my voice, but saying things I've never said. It's just really quite weird, and that's on the internet right now. Trevor Long, thank you so much indeed for your time.